다이어리 오브 윈피 키즈 노돌릭 룰즈 제프 키니 <웃음> Wednesday Mom has been making me and Roderick help out more around the house and now the two of us are responsible for doing the dishes every night The rule is that you are not allowed to watch any TV or play video games until all the dishes are done But let me just say that Roderick is the worst dishes partner in the world <coughs> As soon as dinner is over, he goes upstairs to the bathroom and camps out there for an hour. And by the time he comes back downstairs, I'm already done. I'm ready to start. <clears throat> But if I ever complain to mom and dad, Roderick always put out the same lame excuse. My body is on a schedule. I think mom and, ma, mom and dad are too worried about my little brother, Manny, to get involved in a fight between me and Roderick right now anyway. Yesterday, mom drew a picture at daycares, and mom and dad got really upset when they found it in his backpack. <clears throat> mom and dad saw the picture was supposed to be about them. So now they are acting all lovely in front of many. I love you so much. And I love you so much. I knew who it was really supposed to be in the picture. Me and Rodri. He got into a big blowout over the remote control the other night. And many was there to witness the whole thing. But mom and dad don't need to find out about that. Tuesday. Thursday. Another reason my summer was kind of lame was because my best friend, Rolly, was on vacation pretty much the whole time. I think he went to South America or something. But to be honest with you, I'm not really sure. I don't know if this makes me a bad person or whatever, but it's hard for me to get interested in other people's vacation. And uh, you are gonna get on a boat and cruise down this river. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you ever noticed this uh, freckle before? <coughs> Besides, it seems like Romney's family is always traveling to some crazy place in the world, and I can never keep their trips straight. The other reason I don't care about Ronnie's trip is because whenever Rolly comes back from one of his vacations, he always craps it down my throat. Last year, Rolly and his family went to Australia for 10 days, but from the way he acted when he got back, You'd think he lived there his whole life. Good day, mate. Another thing that's really annoying is that whenever Lowry goes to some new country, he gets into whatever path is going on over there. <coughs> Like when Lolly got back from Europe two years ago, he got hooked on this pop singer named Joshi, who I guess is some huge star or something. So Lolly came back with his bags full of Joshi CDs and posters and stuff. Wild animal heart. Joshi. I took one look at the picture of the CD and told Lolly that Josh was supposed to be for six-year-old girl, but he didn't believe me. Lolly said I was just jealous because he was the one who discovered Josh. And what made it really irritating was that now this guy was Lolly's new hero. So if I ever tried to say anything critical at all, Lolly didn't want to hear it. 
조시 says you should respect your parents and follow your dreams. Speaking of foreign countries, today in French class, Madame Lepre told us you are going to be choosing pen pal this year. When Rodri was in middle school, he had a 17-year-old year old girl from Holland as his pen pal. I know because I've seen the letter in his junk drawer. I like the sunshine, glaze, and ice cream. Do you too? <clears throat> hey, Madame, April handed out of the form. I made sure I checked off the boxes that would get me a pen pal just like Roderick's. If I ever told Madame Leperelle I read over my palm, she made me start over and pick again. She said I had chose a boy who is my age and he had to be French, so I don't exactly have high hopes for my pen pal experience. Jean-Pierre Philippe Friday Mom decided to start making Roderick pick, pick me up after school, just like he picked me up after swim practice. I guess that means she didn't learn from that experience, but I did. So when Roderick picked me up today, I asked, I asked him to please take it easy on the brakes. Rodrigo said okay, but then he went out of his way to find every speed bump in town. Crash! Ouch! Bang! Road type When I got out of the van, I called Rodrigo a big jerk, and then it got physical. Mom saw the whole thing unfold from the living room window. <coughs> Mom made us to come inside, and she sat and down at the kitchen table. Then she said me and Roderick were going to have to settle our differences in a civil manner. Mom told me and Roderick we which we had to write down what we did wrong, and then we had to draw a picture to go along with it. And I knew exactly where Mom was going with that idea. Mom used to be a preschool teacher, and whenever a kid would do something wrong, she'd make him draw a picture of it. I guess the idea, the idea was to make the kid, kid feel ashamed of what he did, so he wouldn't do it again. I will not break the crayon because that makes the other children very sad. Well, Mom's idea might have worked great on a bunch of four-year-old, but she's going to have to think of something better if she wants me and Roderick to get along. I will not call Roderick names. Bunny, Levy, Weha. I will not push Gregory. Yeah. The truth is Roderick can pretty much treat me any way he wants, because he knows there's nothing I can do about it. See, Roderick is the only one who knows about this really embarrassing thing that happened to me over the summer, and he's been holding it over my head ever since. So if I ever tell him for anything, he'll spill my secret to the whole world. I just wish I had some doubt on him to even think out. I don't know, I do know one embracing thing about Roderick, but I don't think it's gonna do me any good. When Roderick was a sophomore, he was sick the day they did school photos. So mom told dad to mail in Roderick's freshman picture for the school to use in the yearbook. Don't ask me how they screwed this up, but he stand in Roderick's second grade picture. And believe it or not, it actually got printed. Harry, Don, Leonard, Hartley, Andrew, Alfley, Roderick. Here's Hida. 
Unfortunately, Rodrigo was smart enough to leap that page out of his real book. So if I, I'm ever gonna find something to use against him, I guess I have to keep digging.